Do you want to know what is the best day to post on social media? In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to create a post using Metricool and how to find the prime times to post on social media for your brand because it's different for every business. Even better, I'm going to show you how to find the best times to post on social media platforms because it's different for each platform, even for the same brand. My name is Elise Nelson and I help tech challenge makers build a profitable e-commerce brand. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel where I offer lessons that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. In this short video, I'm going to share with you how to find the peak posting times for social media for your e-commerce business. Before we jump into this maker lesson, I'd love to know what time you usually post to your social media accounts. Leave a comment and let me know. First, we're gonna look at our planning calendar and how to add a post. So the very first thing you want to do is you are going to just click somewhere on the schedule to add the post. Then you're going to choose which platforms you want to use by turning them into a color. If they are grayed out, you will not be posting to that platform and only your connected platforms are going to show up. Then you can change the date and time if you would like. It will automatically be the time you clicked on the calendar. So if you're happy with that time, then you are set to go. If you want to publish it now, you can click on publish now in the upper right corner there. Then you're going to create your copy. Now keep in mind that whatever is here will post to any platforms that you choose up here. So if you want to have different copy for different platforms, you're going to want to create different posts for each platform. But basically you're going to put your copy here. Then you will put your image, your video, your GIF. You can even add emojis right here in the scheduler. So if I wanted to put this one, for example, and then you can search for hashtags if you would like. So you can just go ahead and select which hashtags you would like to add. You can even tag a location if you would like to tag a location. Then you're going to want to make sure you expand all of these presets so that you can make sure that they're doing what you would like. So for example, this one is saying if you have a notification post, so for example, for TikTok, where that's going to go. If you want, you can boost your Facebook post. You can turn on a URL shortener so you can get more click, click data. Um, and then for Instagram, you can decide if it's going to auto publish or not, and you can tag people. And then on Pinterest, you'll want to make sure you add your title and your board. And then you're always going to want to check your remember section to see what you've maybe missed. And then finally, over here on the right hand side, you can see a preview of your posts. So let me just upload, I'll choose a GIF. So you're going to be this one. You can actually see what the post is going to look like. But you'll want to pay attention because, for example, GIFs are not supported on Instagram or Pinterest. So if you try and do a GIF, that's not going to work in some of the places. And then you can go through and you can check all the different platforms to see what it's going to look like. You can also switch between mobile and desktop versions to see the difference between the two. And this will give you an idea of what the posts are going to look like on different places. Once you're done with all of that, you're going to click save. Now I have these errors here, so it's not going to let me do certain things. So it's telling me that I cannot have gifts on Instagram, Google My Business, Pinterest, or TikTok. So let's take off Instagram, Google My Business, Pinterest, and TikTok. And publish date can't be a past date. So let's just change the date. All right, so now I don't have any of those remember warnings, which means I can actually save this post. So if I click on save, and there you can see the post is right here. And it says the status is pending because it's not yet time for it to post. So if you wanted to delete this post after you've created it, if you click on it again, you will see there's now a new button called delete right over here. And you would just hit delete to delete the post. And there you can see, now it's gone and it tells me the post was successfully deleted. If you want more help with your e-commerce brand, be sure to subscribe and sign up for notifications on my YouTube channel where I offer lessons that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. Now let's talk about how to tell the best posting time for your various platforms. So when you're here on the calendar in Metricool, you see this section called best time on, and you can select Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and it will show you based upon how dark the color is, when the best time is for you to post on that platform. Now, depending upon how long you've been using Metricool, this may take a little time to generate, so you may not see it immediately, but once you've been scheduling and using Metricool, 
this will fill in for you. And you can see on mine, I have percentages showing. And the reason I wanted to point this out to you is because you'll notice this one and this one are the same color of red, but this one is 95%, this one is 91%. So if you were looking for the best time to post and you knew you wanted to post on Thursday, you're probably better off doing it during this 95% time over the 94% time, for instance. The way you get the percentages to show up is by clicking this little icon and turning on show percentage of active followers. You can also change the zoom on your calendar up here as well if you wanted to make the zoom closer. I actually prefer for the zoom to be smaller, but you can set this up whatever is the most convenient for you. Before we jump into the rest of this lesson, please like this video. Also be sure to stick with me to the end of the video so you can learn your challenge for the day. The next thing I wanna discuss about the calendar is how to filter the calendar. You're gonna click on the filter icon and you have options of filtering by status or by network. So whether it's published or a draft or an error, or you can say, I only wanna see Twitter posts. So all you do is you click on them and that's going to tell you whether you're seeing it or not. So you have to see how that one is lighter color that says that Twitter is not being shown. So currently I am showing all my posts regardless of their status or network. But if I turn off Twitter, for example, there's Twitter is gone. That is how you're going to adjust the filter on the calendar. You can also view different time periods here on the calendar. I'm currently looking at the week view, but I can actually change this to be just one day or an entire month. Now you'll notice on the month view, I cannot see the best time, but I can see the best time on the week view and the day view. So if you wanna see your best time to post, you're gonna to wanna to look at the week or the day view in order to get a good time for posting. You can also change your specific week or month, whatever you're on, that you're looking at. So for example, right here, I'm looking at this specific week. If I push the right arrow button, it will take me to the next week. And if I push the back arrow button, it will take me to the preceding week. You can also click on the today button to go to whatever week or month or day you're on that is today. You can see the one that is highlighted here is today's date. Today's question was, what time do you usually post to your social media accounts? Leave a comment and let me know. Get the full Metricool tutorial by watching the Metricool tutorial playlist. Plus, be sure to grab the easiest social media organization system and schedule all your posts on all your platforms with one spreadsheet. The links for both of those are in the description. In the next video in this series, we will be discussing how to recycle social media posts and organize content on Metricool. In the last video in this series, we did a Metricool demo for e-commerce, including answering the questions, how to link an account on Metricool, and is Metricool affordable? If you're ready to give Metricool a try, click the link in the description to sign up and try the free account right now. Your challenge for today is to schedule one post on Metricool using the calendar and comment and let me know how it went. Don't forget to live your dream every single day. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.